So, a month ago, I published this best cybersecurity roles and specialization. And if you haven't watched it yet, kindly click the link below. I discussed various cybersecurity roles and their description, but really didn't talk about much the tools, platforms, and certifications per specialization. So, in this video, I will list the top certifications for the second ranked best cybersecurity role. And this is Cloud and Application Security Engineer. I will talk about three levels, the junior or associate, professional or intermediate level, and the advanced or the expert level. Consider this as the upgrade of my 2023 and 2024 best cloud security certification video. Take note, all of the certifications that I will mention are focused on cloud security and DevSecOps technologies. You may find me a little biased. Ha! This is my video, so deal with it! And as usual, comment below and shout out your location. Like nice video Dean from Cambodia, Papua New Guinea, Spain. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city. Like from Hyderabad, Johannesburg, Denver, etc. First, the associate or junior level. Here's the thing, there's only one cloud security specific certification for this level. And I don't mind you starting your certification journey with Cisco, Linux, VMware, AWS, Kubernetes, etc. Again, there's only one cloud security specific certification for this level and this is the Microsoft Certified Azure Security Engineer Associate. This certification validates expertise in implementing security controls managing identity and access, and protecting data, application, and networks in Microsoft Azure environment. You see, I'm not a big fan, or I'm not a big Microsoft fan, but they are the second largest cloud service provider out there. And many companies are also doing multi-cloud deployment. So you will see a combination of AWS and Microsoft Azure, or Google Cloud and Microsoft Azure technologies. The associated exam is a Z500, which is a multiple choice type, and the cost is US$165, with 50 to 60 questions in 150 minutes. Let's go now to the professional or intermediate level. I'm going to divide this into two categories. One is vendor specific, and the other is vendor neutral certifications. So first, vendor specific certification. So we have AWS Certified Security Specialty. The exam covers securing AWS workloads, data protection, IAM, incident response, and compliance within the AWS cloud. Associated exam is SCS C02, and this is a multiple choice type of exam. The cost is 300 US dollars, and it's roughly 65 questions, and you have to complete it in 170 minutes. Another vendor certification is Google Cloud Certified Professional Cloud Security Engineer. The certificate or this certification validates your ability to design, implement security infrastructure on Google Cloud. This includes IAM or Identity and Access Management, Data Protection, Network Security, and Regulatory Compliance. The exam is a two-hour multiple choice with 50 to 60 questions, and it costs 200 US dollars. Now, the vendor neutral certifications. First is Certificate of Cloud Security Knowledge, or CCSK, by CSA. CSA stands for Cloud Security Alliance. The certification demonstrates expertise in cloud security, focuses on best practices, compliance, and risk management in cloud computing environment. This exam is a little different because this is an open book type of an exam. It's online with 60 multiple choice questions, and you have to complete the exam within 90 minutes. The exam cost a little high or pricey, it's 445 US dollars. Next is Certified DevSecOps Professional or CDP by Practical DevSecOps. This validates professionals expertise in integrating security practices within cloud-based DevOps environment, focusing on securing SDLC, CICD pipeline security, cloud security tools, and vulnerability management. It also covers application security practices such as 
Static Application Security Testing or SAST and Dynamic Application Security Testing or DAST. It's a 24-hour hands-on lab exam and the package costs 899 US dollars. When I say package, this includes training materials and one exam attempt. Let's now move to the expert level. Unfortunately, there are no expert level vendor specific certification. I'm not sure when AWS, Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud will introduce any. I don't think it's part of their plans for their certification programs. Now, we'll just simply upgrade our CCSK to CCSP. CCSP stands for Certified Cloud Security Professional, and this is by ISC Squared. This validates her skills in cloud security, and this includes cloud architecture, governance, risk management, and compliance. CCSP, uh, I'm not really considering this as an expert level, as it's not a technical hands-on certification, but it's a more advanced, more difficult certification than CCSK. Next. We'll just upgrade our CDP to CDE. CDP stands for Certified DevSecOps, excuse me, Certified DevSecOps Professional to Certified DevSecOps Expert. And this is by the same vendor, Practical DevSecOps. CDE focuses on securing DevOps lifecycle. And this includes custom rule deployment for OS hardening. Those includes infrastructure as a code, compliance as a code, and large-scale vulnerability management. The prerequisite for this exam is the completion of Certified DevSecOps Professional or CDP. And like CDP, it's a 24-hour hands-on lab exam. And the package costs a little higher than CDP. It costs 1,899 US dollars, which also includes training materials and one exam attempt. So this is the summary of our cloud and application security certifications. And yeah, we have three levels, the associate, professional, and expert. Now, real talk, this is very important. Cloud security and DevSecOps are really not an entry level, not even a junior level role. You need to know the basics of networking, compute, Linux application, cloud computing, and even coding. You cannot just jump to cloud security career. And here are the certifications that I would recommend you to start with. First, network certifications. Hmm. So CCNA or F5CA big IP. But I always tell people F5CA is more related to the cloud. Um, note, you need to have a good network foundation in order for you to understand cloud VPC or virtual private cloud. Yeah, basically it's the networking for cloud infrastructure. For Linux, either Linux Plus or KLCP. Linux Plus is obviously more popular, but KLCP is related to security. Now, also take note of this, servers in general is a requirement to understand cloud as a whole. But Linux is the preferred operating system due to its popularity and also the tools we use in DevOps and DevSecOps. Now for cloud computing, it always depends which vendor you prefer or your company is using. But personally, I would go for these two certifications. First, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, which is the entry level. Then, AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate, which is the associate level. 